I'm working on a tent. In fact, I'd like to build a couple tents. At first, I thought I could just maybe cut it out. Then after several failures, I realized that I really needed a very geometric design that was even on all sides in order for it to fold together. I got pretty close on this rendition, but the top was wrong. The rest of it was pretty good. So, back to the drawing boards as they say. This time I've come up with a very geometric shape, and some of these lines are extraneous. But my intent is to cut this one out and use that for a pattern. And then I can, by placing them side to side, very carefully create the pattern and cut out the tent. So I'll be back to you in a second. I did. I just want to put a little bit of glue on here. Just enough to hold it together so I can see what I've got because I, I need to take it back apart again to add some other features like the, uh, the door and the, the window in the back. I believe I've got it. Finally, I wonder if it looks like a tent. Yeah, looks like a tent. Close as I'm going to get. Okay, so the pattern is solved. I can cut out a real one. Well, there's the first tent. It's a little on the big side. Here's a figure next to it. It's a little too tall, but it was pretty challenging just to get that. So. It's out of scale just a little bit, but I'm satisfied that it will represent a tent. It has a window in the back as well. Probably glue these flaps down. Well, I'll try the second one and, and I'll make the make it a little bit smaller this time. After looking at them, I decided I needed another chair, but a striped chair. So I'm gonna to try to make one right now. This is what I'm using for wire. camping coach which, which is supposed to go right here yet. I think when I get that though I'll be pretty much complete. I haven't ballasted this area because I don't know there's some stairs that go with that and I don't exactly know how they sit against the coach. How close do they have to be? I have installed a little wall along here to hold back the ballast so that it doesn't encroach on the caravan park. 
I tried this. I put a light in this caravan. It's an LED. I just drilled a hole in the bottom of it and stuck it in there. I put lighting over the stairs area on the footbridge. I thought people would probably appreciate that. Well, farlanders. Let me be clear. Not people. Well, they're sharp people. We have a, a bit of a love triangle going on here. Jack is about to get back and he's been married to Elsa there for about a year. And she seems to be awfully cozy with this interloper. I don't know what Jack's going to think when he gets back. Now, when I was filming that little story earlier, I had camper guy in over here instead of trainer shoe guy. And during working on the area, somehow or other, camper guy was lost. I guess the big hand with the sucking nozzle got too close to him. A lengthy search ensued, and he was not ever to be found. So we believe that he's gone for good. But Camper Guy had the role of Jack in an earlier take. I assembled the footbridge, got it from York Models, it's plastic. I like it. I have one from Ann Corton, which I'll show you, and I have this one, and I, I like this one better. However, to get a span as long as I did for the one over there on Howe Street, it would have taken two of these. It did take two Ann Corton footbridge models to get across that space. And although this is pretty long, it's not long enough to span the Howe Street Station. I weathered it, painted it up, rusted it up. I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. I've got my clearance sign, warning clearance signs on. I think we're pretty close to being done. If I had the camping coach, I could finish the ballasting and I'd call it complete. And I would then be able to move on to some other area of Farland. One other thing, we do have the connection over from Farmore, so if somebody wants to get to the pub in the evening, they can get there, or to the restaurant. And if the Farmorns, Farmons, Farmore, the people that live in Farmore, if they want to get over to the beach, they can. Beach being over here, that way. So there you have it. That's where I am now. Because we lost Camper Guy, there will be a short memorial for him after the credits. We couldn't bury his body, so we just had to bury his memory.